Potato, boil a mash on, put it in a stew. Potato, boil a mash on, put it in a stew. Oh, hi. Welcome back for another episode of Rock of Love. I'm so happy I get to share my love for this ridiculous show with you all. This time we're talking about season two, episode five. And to get us started, we have Daisy, who's gonna give a nice little recap for us. Brett eliminated Roxy and Angelique, and now it's down to 10 girls. You know I'm awesome. I'm Brett Michaels, I'm awesome. It's me. Brett, more like Chet. <laughs> Am I right? To those who have left us tonight, I feel sorry they're wonderful people. But for us, let's get down to making bacon. We're off to a great start. Everybody is being friendly and hanging out, but I don't want friends. I want Brett. And I'm ready to step up and let him know. What are you doing, freak? <laughs> You're staring at me like you might like me or kill me. <laughs> Brett says this to Aubrey in a trying to be cute voice, but then this happens. All right, I'm going to bed. Okay, Before I do anything else, it's stupider. It's stupider. I'm going to bed. I was standing right next to him and he walks right around me gives daisy a kiss goodnight gives destiny a kiss goodnight and all these other girls i felt like i was invisible save you tears honey you never had a chance keep this part in mind because aubrey obsesses so hard about it but anyways daisy makes her way into brett's room i'm really feeling brett like just ah, uh, i just can't help it like god I want to hang out more with Daisy asked me, can she walk me to my room? She looks absolutely stunningly hot. I'm only human, damn it. And I tell her straight up, absolutely, Daisy. She better get her uh, little butt up here when she's done walking oh, you. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. No one has had a long time with him in his room. Here's all they show us, but we all know what they're going to do. Double up. Aubrey and Christy Joe, the little BFFs, are gonna get in the hot tub to have a little chat. Daisy's in Brett's room, and I'm really feeling like Brett is just not interested in me. See what I said? Aubrey is still wondering why Brett didn't kiss her. What's bothering me is the neglect that I'm feeling that I'm not getting what it is that I deserve. I don't think it was intentional. He said something cute to her and then he just has to kiss like 30 other girls. So <laughs> probably got distracted very quickly. He's sleeping with Daisy right now because that's exactly what he's doing. And if you try to kid yourself or fool yourself, I'm sorry to break the news. All I know is Daisy's in his room right now and they've been in there for hours and it is just, a total mind fuck. They're also mad that Daisy is in Brett's room. I'm really getting jealous feelings, which is weird, because then it tells me I really am interested in him. I want to fall in love, and I'm ready to fall in love, and I know you are too. Part of me feels bad for Aubrey, but then part of me is also just like, get over it. I don't know if this is the place to fall head over heels in love, but, um, more power to you. <laughs> so I'm in bed and then I notice that somebody is not in their bed. <laughs> so yeah, Daisy stayed the night. She walks back literally wearing his sweatpants, tank top, and bandana. Dirty ass hoe. Me and Brett were learning things about each other. They were just simply learning things about each other. Gosh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Skink. Here's our note from Brett. My favorite toys are one of a kind, with the rockin' style that's hard to find. The key to my heart is custom love. Today we'll see who's a cut above. Get a note from Brett. And right away, we kind of had a feeling that it has something to do with either cars or motorcycles. Ina's pumped. And I'm pumped. Yeah, that's what I just said. So they're on their way to the challenge. I'm whispering to Catherine about Daisy sleeping with Brett. Did you sleep with Brett? Aubrey calls out Daisy in front of everyone. So, Daisy, did you sleep with Brett? You were in there without cameras, alone, in the middle of his bed. I'm sorry. Aubrey is getting a bit of an attitude. Goddamn, lady. Dude, okay, first of all, there's nothing wrong with trying to hang out with someone. I mean, is that a possibility? Is that, like, I mean, I don't go in someone's I'm room. I'm not saying then, it's not a possibility, like, but I, why are you, know you being what? so I defensive? Can, because you're fucking being a bitch about it, that's why. You didn't do it, you didn't do it. Done. Okay, then shut the French up about it. Who are you calling a cootie queen, you lint licker? They arrive at a motorcycle shop. Hello? 
come, come. We go into this building, and all of a sudden, I see the bikes. My heart starts pounding. I start drooling. Over here drooling. <laughs> this is my thing. We're going to be building some awesome, awesome custom bikes. OK, hold on. Oh, they just got to build a motorcycle. Huh? Last season, we had challenges like, who can find the guitar pick in the dumpster faster? And this year, they're like, you're going to build a friggin' motorcycle, and you're going to do it fast, OK? Ready? Go. <laughs> I've labeled all the parts for you. Your tools are out there. I'm not very familiar with a lot of tools. But I bet you've dated a lot of tools. Want some ice for that burn? Uh -huh. This is definitely a challenge for me. They're split into two teams, and each team will have a lead mechanic. The lead mechanic of the winning team gets to go on a solo date, which is going to be on the bike and incredible, OK? And then the other girls will get to go on a group date, which is always a lot of fun. And the losing team's lead mechanic? You get to clean with a toothbrush my custom bike. I don't know anything about motorcycles other than guys who ride motorcycles are hot. Megan has a typical Megan strategy. My best strategy for this challenge is to do whatever I have to do to look hot in my mechanic shirt. I may not know how to build a bike, but I know how to look hot riding one. <laughs> Brett's going to take off for a ride. When I say go, you guys got to start building. You ready? Yes. Ready. And go. Woo! Brake caliber. Brake caliber over rotor as grill is perfect. Doesn't it have to go through here first? Oh, sure, that's where that goes? No. Instant chaos. There's no way in hell I'm going to let the other team win. Oh, I'm completely stressed. I became almost frantic and frenzied, just thinking, oh my god, you know, we got to win this challenge. We got to win this challenge. I want this date so bad, I don't know what to do. Peyton is so Southern, I can't understand her sometimes. <laughs> Pull it out and start again. Okay. It's going in, yeah, dude. Okay, cool. Ooh, yeah! Uh, according to this guy, they're pretty much neck and neck. Can you tell me where the air cleaner is? It's over there by the sign that says air cleaner. Okay, okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like an idiot. There you go. Good, good, good. Good. Push this in. No, no, push it out. Push it out, push it out. Okay. Watching this is stressing me out. Go, 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 go. The black team won, and poor Peyton is sad. My heart sank. The solo date with Brett was that close. If you ask me, Peyton is the most realistic choice for Brett. Give me the down low on the girls. How'd they do? At the last hurdle, our winners were the black team. Awesome. The only one who looked maybe a little bit lost was Destiny here and there. You know, she had a bit of trouble keeping up. I don't know. <laughs> Russell completely just threw me under the bus and told me I was a loser and that I sucked. OK, Destiny, chill. He didn't even say any of that. Since Destiny may have helped slow the team down a little bit, you're going to put a bikini on, and the two of you are going to help clean my pipes together. Someone would explain to me what a fucking Phillips was or something. Maybe I could have figured it out. So. You're dumb. So Destiny and Peyton are going to scrub the motorcycle with a toothbrush because they suck. I'm so psyched that I won this date. I'm really hoping that Brett and I can make a connection. Ina, come up here. I've got something very awesome for you. Let's get out of here. Come on. Brett says gross things as usual. Her body, my body, together, bike, vibration. We both have oil face. You got grease in your hands. <laughs> oh, kiss, please. Then they have some grub. Great, to have a good time. Yes. Back at the house, Peyton and Destiny are scrubbing the bike. We are going to make the best of our punishment. I'll clean his pipes anytime. And Aubrey is still going on about Brett not freaking kissing her. I deserve to be with someone who wants to be with me. I have a problem with Brett walking around me like I'm not existent. Amber makes a point similar to what I was saying. I don't think he did it on purpose. I don't either. I don't either. Aubrey tends to overreact to things and overanalyze things, and I think maybe she has a slight confidence problem. I need to let Brett know that I'm feeling totally insignificant and that the connection maybe isn't there with him. Her complaining about that is getting annoying, not gonna lie. Am I being mean? I don't know, but her attitude is irking me. I could see us ending up together. I do too. The date was awesome because 
we finally got alone time and I got to talk to him and just, we had a great time. Brett and Ina head home from their date to find his toothbrushed motorcycle inside with uh, Peyton and Destiny in their tiny little clothes. Hot date with Ina, come back to two hot beautiful girls on your bike, that doesn't suck. Oh no, here comes angry Aubrey. As soon as Brett comes home, I'm flying down the stairs to go talk to him, it's my time. I'm gonna make this about me, cause it is about me. Would you like to go talk? Okay. Aubrey, 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 do you really need to pick this exact moment when there is nakedness and motorcycles to take me away? Seriously. Aubrey goes on about how Brett didn't kiss her. I'm a very, very, very observant person. You were saying goodnight. You walked right around me and gave Daisy a kiss, then Destiny a kiss. But I'm, maybe I was standing I'm... right there. She won't let him talk at all. And what he says here is spot on. Aubrey starts going at me as if we'd been in a nagging, naggingly long relationship. And I'm thinking, man, we haven't even been together yet. Let's say you studied my subconscious. What do you think it's saying? I think that you think that I'm really honest. And I think, and that I think you think, you're honest. And, and I think friend. that you think that I'm funny. Right. But I don't think they subconsciously. Also... Oh my gosh, she basically just shushed him. You're making yourself look bad. <laughs> I don't think subconsciously that you see me as a potential partner she knows what he thinks subconsciously uh i can see the future right now i'm sitting on the fence with aubrey because i actually do like her a lot but she may be just a little needy that was good right mm -hmm. yeah because you told him like your true honest feelings these two are just so unsure and maybe losing their confidence god i still have all this shit back home i still have so much to take care of you have two marriages i'm still legally married he deserves better and like you know what I mean like if I can't fucking give it all I can't now Chrissy Joe is like I'm gonna leave too all of this is just too much for me and I have such strong feelings for him and I know that I will never be able to move forward with him unless I deal with my past first she gets all the ladies together to ask for some advice oh shit just last episode didn't she say she doesn't need any friends here and now she wants their opinions. I have just been through two very horrible marriages, and now I'm in a situation with Brett, and I feel like, fuck, I'm in a rebound again. Christy Jo is basically saying that she's an emotional mess, wreck, baggage, all kinds of husbands and kids and trailers, whatever. Megan. <laughs> or do you leave? Christy Jo is a little overboard. I'm thinking, hello, they've only known each other for what, five days? Amber, preach. You're all upset right now, so you should go fucking talk to him. Yeah, like, because if know it was I mean? me and I was feeling this way, I, would be, <sighs> I wouldn't be talking you're to not anybody here but him. Him. I wouldn't go, go. Nobody's stopping you. I don't see anybody stopping you. Get the fuck out. So now Christy is going to go talk to Brett. It's such shitty time. This sad ass music. Come on, get out of here. Why is it such shitty timing for you? I'm just, because I'm asking you this way. Because it's not done yet. All You're my not. affairs aren't in fucking order yet. You know what I mean? But the thing is with Christy Jo is I want to be with her. I like her a lot. And especially she is a beautiful woman to look at. But again, you can't make someone love you if they don't. I don't know what to do at this point. Should I stay or should I go now? Big John gives another note for the girls who get to go on the group date. Come as you are, captured forever today, you're the star. After hearing the note today, I'm totally confused. I have no idea what's going on, as usual. I can put my whole fist in my mouth. Wanna see? They're gonna have a pin-up photo shoot. I, love I take Aubrey over and give her a very Jungles King Kong-esque kind of 50s pinup thing, and she just nails it. Am I having too much fun here? Amber, to me, has really come around. This girl is starting to pop out for me. Yeah, that's really hot. They all have fun, uh, especially Brett. Ow. And then Daisy. Hi-yo. I was watching this with my fiance, and at this part, um, I said it looked like he was walking over to the table with his two mommies. <laughs> yeah. What a great photo shoot. Something I actually love to do. So much fun. So much fun. You know? yeah. so much fun. I've always wanted to do Plus this. Plus it was so. like a release of all the stress. Mm -hmm. and oh God, going that's on. what I'm talking about. <laughs> and then Aubrey becomes an instant Debbie Downer. It seems like so many people 
in this situation well, I don't get hurt. You're right and you're wrong. Let me tell you why you're wrong. What happens is some of the people that are here don't know what they're looking for, and some came here for absolutely the wrong reason. I talking to um, what's her face last night in the room. What's her face? Are you talking about Christy Joe? Yeah. Oh no, Brad prefers to Christy Joe as what's her face. He was just saying this whole long story, and I just looked at her and said, whatever. He says Christy Joe's here for the wrong reasons, and he's just ripping on her in front of me. This is wrong. I need to go up and tell Christy Joe. Of course this offends Aubrey because she, like, loves Christy Joe more than she loves Brett, so. <laughs> Aubrey comes upstairs and basically tells me that Brett's talking shit about me on their date. That makes See, me so I wasn't there. I wasn't angry. in the room. You're gonna sit back there and talk shit on me after I'm telling, I'm being honest with you? Oh, I just wanna fucking throw. I'm so pissed, but I cannot believe you fucking said that about me. She's gonna self destruct, y'all. <laughs> She goes to confront Brett. I am just fuming. I just want to get the hell out of this house. But I realize that if I don't talk to Brett, I'm going to regret it. Brett? Uh, yeah. I just wanted to see you for a minute. Christy Cho. What's that going on? You're going to say, what's that going on at a time like this? Are you kidding me, Brett? I'd like to know how you really feel about me. As far as what? My position being here, everything. Christy Cho comes and knocks on the door before elimination and she's really pissed off. She knows I think she's hot, but here's the deal. If she wants to go, I'm gonna let her go. So they talk it out and Brett's like, maybe I'm just not the dude for you. And Chrissy Joe's like, so after that conversation, I wanna, I really wanna be with him. Who's to say he's not the right person for me? That brings us to the time we all know and love. Elimination time. There's a chance that I could be going home tonight, but I want to stay for Brett if Brett wants me. I just want to make sure that Brett wants me too. I'm just confused and scared and I really don't know what to feel right now. Aubrey and Chrissy Joe basically took over the entire episode with their neediness. That's like all I remember. What's the going on? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. First of all, I just want to say this to everyone here tonight. It has been pretty much a emotional roller coaster for me, and I'm sure for all of you. And I can guarantee you one thing, this is going to get worse. First pass, please. There you go. I think that this girl, instead of just talking to talk, we walked the walk, which was good. Took us to a great level, I feel. Daisy is his first pick. No surprise there. I mean, they banged last night, so... I would hope he picks her first. I don't think that anybody at this point can beat the chemistry that I have with Brett. I feel it, he feels it, and I love it. He makes a couple more choices that actually make sense. Good job, Brett. If Brett keeps me tonight, then I'll know that it's because he has genuine feelings for me, and I'm really hoping that he's gonna give me a pass. A couple more ladies get chosen to stay. Catherine. I got you. I got you. Jessica, would you come down here, please? <laughs> Destiny, would you come down here, please? Now it's down to Megan, Chrissy Joe, and Aubrey. How the hell am I standing up here with Aubrey and Chrissy Joe and no pass? Megan, would you come down here, please? I don't know what he's talking about, but if he means any stuff on my game, I will. So it's down to the two BFFs. I got one pass. Christy Joe's my best friend in the house. And I, at that moment, looked over at Christy Joe and my heart just fell out of my body. And I think that Christy Joe might be going home. Christy Joe is completely breaking down and Aubrey feels bad for her. I know if I don't get a pass, I'm gonna be completely devastated. This next girl, unfortunately, told me um, they're not feeling well. What's going on? I realize that Brett's about to give me the pass. Christy Joe's my best friend and I, I just can't watch someone I care about hurt like that. Brett's about to make his decision when Aubrey interrupts with this. I go on my own. Will you give Christy Joe more chance? What's the going on? <laughs> Holy Holy shit. Aubrey thinks that she makes the ultimate sacrifice and literally she was the one that was going to be going home anyways. 
I was a little shocked by Aubrey's move, but she was the one who was actually going home. I think that sacrificing my position is going to give her a chance to really stand up and, and not be foolish anymore and I'm walking away with some wonderful friends and just believing that if, if Brett and I are supposed to have a chance together, we will later. We're in the same city. Aubrey literally thought she could read Brett's mind and she was wrong every single time. So Aubrey decides to sacrifice her own self for Christy Joe. Surprise! <laughs> the whole time she was going home. I was embarrassed to even watch. I'm right there with you, Megan. <laughs> he actually wanted me here. And they make out all nasty-like. And I agree with what Destiny says here. She's playing some major head games with all of us in this house, and I don't fucking like it. Brett's brew time. Everyone in this house, can we continue to party on? Yeah. All right. I don't feel like walking all the way across my apartment to get my Brett's brew, so I just like pretend there's one here. Psh. <laughs> Can't wait for the next one. Later, Later taters. taters.